might start bringing my
on, you know, making it personal. You know, it's, it's what God is doing for you, just for you. You know, it ain't for everybody else, it's just for you. Uh, I know they just sung something that say, you gotta make it worship, you know, personal. You gotta make it personal, and just for you. And I'm thinking like, God made a struggle just for me. Like, I believe that if it was anybody else, uh, they wouldn't make it through. Uh, it, it, it was tough uh, dealing with what I'm dealing with. It's not over. God, God know it's not over, but I'm stronger now because I'm, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, my mother, she's she's uh, sitting in ICU, but she don't belong there no more. Uh, they, they saying, this ain't nothing we can do. We done did all we can, uh, and it's good. You know, she's, she's doing much better, much stronger. She can talk now. So I just got to warn y'all, you know, y'all think that I can talk, if y'all go visit me, just be there to sit for a while. <laughs> Parking the spot out, so y'all want to know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, right. it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's a blessing to hear, you know, I, I mess with it like, now nah, they need to take that speaking valve out for a while so we can just sit here and just stare at each other. And, uh, yeah, she, she be going off, but, uh. It's, it's been something when you really, my, my family is not rich. And dealing with medical issues, I always think about where we're going to get the money from. My mama don't have no life insurance. She don't have no health insurance. You know, and I'm thinking about, you know, where we're going to get the money from. Finally, uh, we made a breakthrough where she finna have her benefits finally. It's been, it's been since 2015. And she finally, all this stuff she been going through, they finally gonna grant her benefits, and I, 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 I thank God. Really, I can't stop working to take care of my mom. I say, it's not no way I can already see how the domino's gonna fall if I stop work just to be there to take care of somebody and I don't have no income coming in myself. And I can't pay these people that's telling me I owe them. You know, it's gonna all go downhill from there. I said, this ain't no possible way. I said, God going to have to do something, and he stepped right on me. And I really thank God. Uh, man, it's, it's many things that I really feel like it's been like a manifold, like a uh, multitude of uh, things that have been coming my way to just deny God, deny God and to just lay down my faith and go for what I know. And I know that's the devil that's been messing with me. And that's why I really, I, sometimes I just got to be quiet and just let God deal with me. And uh, the thing is, I'm, I'm stuck. I ain't gonna lie, I'm stuck. And when I feel like giving up, I keep going. That's how stubborn I am. And uh, man, I just thank God that I kept going because I'm seeing these things manifest. I'm seeing these things uh, with my mama coming out. I ain't yes. gonna say nothing. Uh, yes. My brother, I, I've really been dodging him good because uh, I usually love to argue with him. I ain't gonna lie, that's like, a passion of mine. I, I like confrontation. <laughs> I like confrontation. I was telling brother Eric, he said, man, that's that penitentiary. I'm like, no, that's not penitentiary. I just enjoy when people think that I'm wrong and I prove them that they're wrong. You know, I just enjoy that. It's like a pride thing. I don't know what's wrong with me, but God gonna fix me. And, uh, you know, my brother, when he comes to me, I like to I like to just sit back and see it's the battle of the wits. You know, and what he, he says is not scripture. And I like and I've been avoiding him because God has showed me get out his way. So uh I've been just bagging on. I've been doing good like that. Y'all y'all know that my brother he uh got arrested trying to come to a church picnic. I'm really glad that he didn't make it because y'all would have seen the foolishness of me uh becoming a fool, you know, answering the fool according to his father and becoming just like him. You know, y'all would have seen that and that would have been a bad reputation for the church in general. And uh, I just thank God for all that he's doing because God is working. God is working. We just got to pay attention. Just pay attention to what God is doing and the stuff that we go through. We don't even have to pay attention to that. The Bible say you need to uh, look to the author and the finisher of your faith instead of, you know, your situation, so to speak. And I just thank God for what he's doing. I thank God for this church. Uh, I went out yesterday uh, to speak at a youth event. And y'all got to apologize to me. I don't mean to be this long. But uh, I went out to speak at a youth 
youth event, you know, I prayed on it. I prayed when I got there, and I just let God have his way. Uh, I felt like I had impact for these children.